In this video, we look at how to simplify a ratio where one or both of the numbers in the ratio are expressed as fractions. In this example, we're looking at two numbers which are both fractions, but if one of them is a whole number, you can make it into a fraction by placing that same whole number over one. So first of all, we'll have a look at the basic process, and we need to look for common denominators between the two fractions. And that process is simplified by looking for the lowest common multiple of the denominators. Now in this case, the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. And what we have to do is change the numerator of each fraction the same way that the denominator was changed. So in the first case, we can see that for the first fraction, 3 fifths, to become a fraction over 15, we have to multiply the top and bottom by 3. The second fraction is 2 thirds, and for that to become a fraction over 15, we have to multiply the top and the bottom by 5. So you can see here the resulting working out. We've got 3 times 3 for the first numerator, and 2 times 5 for the second numerator. And that results in the ratio 9 fifteenths to 10 fifteenths. Now the next step is to simplify the ratio. Because the common denominators occur, we can rewrite this ratio as just the numerators, in other words, 9 to 10. And once we've done that, we look to simplify the ratio in exactly the same way we would for whole numbers. In this case, 9 to 10 can't be simplified any further, so our resulting simplified ratio is 9 to 10. Let's have a look at a quick way we can simplify ratios that involve fractions using the same principle that we just looked at, but in a couple of easier steps. What we can do is identify the numerator and the denominator for the fraction on the left and multiply it by the opposing denominator and numerator on the other fraction. In other words, we can see here in red that we've multiplied the numerator of the first fraction on the left, 3, by the denominator on the right. And we've multiplied the denominator of the first fraction on the left by the numerator of the fraction on the right. And that results in the same simplified ratio, 9 to 10. Now if we compare these steps to what we did earlier, what we've done is we've found the numerators for the fractions with a common denominator of 15, except we've just done a shortcut in the process and gone straight to the numerators. So our resulting ratio, 9 to 10, in this case is the simplified ratio. Of course, as before, once we've got to whole numbers, we do need to take another look and see if we can simplify the ratio further as you would do normally with whole numbers. Let's have a look now where one of the numbers in the ratio is expressed as a mixed numeral. So in this case we've got 1 and 1 third. What we'll do is we'll change this to an improper fraction. And we do that by multiplying the denominator, in this case 3, by the whole number 1. And then we add the numerator, which in this case is also 1. So that means that the improper fraction on the left hand side becomes 4 over 3. So to simplify this ratio, we go through the same process we did in our original examples. And that means we'll multiply the numerator by the opposite denominator, and likewise multiply the denominator by the opposite numerator in the ratios. In this case, what happens is we'll multiply 3 by 3 and 4 by 5, and we get a simplified ratio of 20 to 9. Now that it's in whole numbers, we'll look to simplify further, but this is the simplest this ratio can be. So our final answer is a ratio of 20 to 9.